hello everyone this is t set abcd and welcome to another katan video here on my channel so as usual playing playing the base game i am in the fourth position here yeah i'm noticing that there is an average amount of all resource quite a good amount of wood with the access to the wood port it might be quite useful that said the wood port itself is not on good tiles here i mean 6 9 10 or 6 5 10 both seem to be a good first placement i like 6 5 10 a little more because brick is comparatively rarer okay so as expected red does go for 6 5 10 here 8 10 3 could be a choice or 6 4 9 4 6 4 could be a choice i'm wondering if i get a setup like 6 9 12 8 3 5 5 with the access to the brick port it seems quite useful i do not have any wheat but then i can expand to 810 or else i can give up on or and go for something like 9510 853 which is also playable and another choice that i can have is something like 853643 i give up on wheat but i have a better word i have double sheep and access to the brick port is still possible Let's see where black goes. I think black might consider eight five three here. I mean, black can consider six four three as well. But if black goes for eight five three, what do I want to do? I believe in that case, I can. go for something like 9510 6912 and then try and get a settlement on the wood pool but i'm playing without brick and without uh, sheep the wood port can be useful okay so this was not expected so now i'm considering 9 5 10 i am actually going for 8 5 3 for sure with the access to the brick port and expansion spot on 8 10 nobody wants to get a placement on 8 10 here everybody already produces wheat and neither of my opponents has wood here so 8 10 doesn't seem to be useful So if I am considering eight five three, then do I want to go for six nine twelve? Maybe not because I end up with or. I have a lot of brick, some wood, but low sheep, no wheat. I don't like that setup here. but then do i want to go for 9 5 10 or do i want to go for 
I like nine five ten because if I don't go for nine five ten, I'm going to run out of time here. My first placement here will be on eight five three, so let's just go for that. So if I go for six three four, I secure the brick port. I'm not racing for the brick port with anyone. I do get some ore. But then I end up with no sheep, sorry, no wheat. And I don't have a particular upper hand when it comes to trading resources. Like orange might not have any brick and orange might want to do a brick for wheat trade. That is possible. I'm considering who wants to go for 9510 here. Surely not orange and not red or oh, sorry not black either so red might get nine five ten end up with a lot of wheat in hand no sheep but does have some expansion spots on nine ten and eight ten and if i go for nine five ten I think black will go for six, four, three. Orange will go for six, nine, 12. I think orange gets to six, nine, 12, irrespective of where I go. But the four old doesn't help me too much. It might just end up clogging my hand or I will have to trade away ore. It is better if I just go for a more balanced setup, play a road builder kind of setup, but then I don't have possibility to connect roads. Wow, orange now gets 634. I think orange is more than happy with it. I'm surprised black placed on 6912 so quickly. I just assumed orange was getting 6912, no matter what I do. Maybe I like this a little more because black is now playing without any sheep. Orange is playing with a lot of wheat. Uh, actually, orange is playing with a lot of sheep, some wheat and some ore. And okay, surely did not expect red to go for 8-4. Here I believe orange will target the 5 brick and steal from me. Trying to get brick because I am the only one who has brick in hand. Okay, blocks the 9 wheat and will continue and steals a brick as well. So we'll be building a road. Hopefully not to the brick port. So here as planned, I'll just go towards the brick port first. Yeah, I wouldn't want even a single four or a six to roll in this game. Those rolls do not help me. Whereas it helps uh, everyone else quite a bit. Yeah, let's see if I can get any trade. Do I want to do a sheep for wood? I don't mind doing a twist to one here. Yeah, because my wheat production is decent. Although the nine is blocked for now and my sheep is quite low, I should be getting a settlement on this turn, hoping that a five or a eight rolls. Yeah, 
your eyes should not be the target uh -huh, and because okay i thought red accepted it but it was the bot who did the placement so actually orange ran out of time there Okay, I need a 5 or a 8 to roll. I'm a little worried that... Okay, I'll go for this trade. I'm I'm a little worried that Orange might have something like a road builder or a year of plenty and want to plow me. I would have accepted that trade as well, but this is fine. Do I want to do a 2 is to 1? Yeah, surely not. At least not to get a break here. So, I, I mean, orange might be able to do a 4 to 1 because 10s have been rolling a little. I don't think so I can. I mean, I would like to trade here. The problem is I don't want to give up on a break. Okay, red accepts it. Okay, luckily orange does not plow me. Here I think the 4 ore is an easy target for me. Uh, black already has a city, orange has a good settlement. And I get my settlement on the brick port which is a pretty good spot. Here, I'll accept a 1 is to 2. Yeah, I'll accept it. I don't want to be targeted. I'm not blocked here. I don't want the nine wheat or the eight brick to be targeted here. Plus my brick production is decent and I'm getting a sheep, which is somewhat of a rare resource for me. But I need to get a city. The problem is Everyone else has good ore production and I don't have any ore production. I don't think anybody has any ore because 6 was blocked for quite some time and 4 hasn't rolled here. So I get a word, do I buy a dev card with these resources? I mean, if I get a monopoly, a year of plenty, road builder, I'm happy with all of those, right? So maybe I should just, I mean, but my ore is a rare resource. And this was expected, getting a knight. Most likely blocks the nine wheat. 
considering that I already have the brick port, I expected that should still be stealing from black because black has better ore and wheat also has a city. I'm not sure why red is offering a brick trade when everyone just said zero there. Yeah, I can go for this trade. Okay. Black agreed to it. And I don't mind giving up a wheat here. As I said, my wheat production is decent. I want to build two roads so that I can go towards the wheat port. Building a road here might be a little risky because orange might want to plow me. But I don't think if I, uh, if I have any option So do I buy a dev card again, hoping that I don't get a knight? I mean, that is just based on luck right now. Do I want to do that? I don't think so. Maybe I just buy a dev card here. I'm not sure. Even if I get a knight, it is still good. And maybe I build a road here just to double up on my brick production. Like eights will become extra strong for me once I get a settlement here. Or do I get a settlement on the threes to one port? I don't think the threes to one port is too useful. I think just doubling up on brick is a better option. So, I mean, red already has three dev cards here. And now I think red should just focus on getting cities. The thing is red is still not playing a knight, which is a little bit of a surprise to me. So yeah, the good thing is black loses out on a few cards. Also, orange did not play a knight. I'm not sure what is going on. So here, I mean, orange disconnected and bot is placing on six. I think that's a good move, especially because red here already has three dev cards. Might target or black though, because black has a city and if bot is going to target, bot will just target the yeah, person with the highest points. Here, let's wait for orange to return. I need a few fives to roll. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, this is good. Let's see if I get a trade here. I'll just get a settlement. If not, I can just try and hold on for a city. Yeah, here I will just end my turn. This would dust target.
gets a settlement but now i think red is in a very strong position has the best has a very, very strong it's not the best but has the best sheep good over good wheat and sheep Here I'll accept a one is to two. I get a sheep. So now if for five or eight rolls, I get a settlement. Yeah, the four doesn't help me much. Do I want to give up a sheep? I don't think so. Let's try getting a trade here. If not, I'll just end my turn. Yeah, I'll just end my turn here. Red should play a knight, doesn't play a knight, okay. Red will try and get a settlement on the 3 to 1 port next. Uh, let's see, I'm just trying to get a city. Maybe I can accept a trade like this here. Yeah, so if a five, I would want a couple of fives to roll. Or at least a couple of eights, just so that I can get a settlement. Okay, plays a monopoly. But uh, yeah, so orange will be the first one, so not the first one, the second one to get a city. The best I can do is just get a settlement on my turn. And I would prefer to get a monopoly. I mean, this trade will help me for five or eight rolls. I can get a city. So yeah, not much of a choice here. I'll just get my settlement in my turn. Now just hope that there are quite a few eights that roll this round. Okay. I mean, if black is not going to agree, then I don't think so. There is a lot that I can do about it, but here, yeah, I mean, I did want three eights and three eights did roll plays a knight. Hopefully doesn't target me.
Okay, let's see. I'm getting a word. I think I'll accept it. Maybe I could have done a non-bind there. Let's see if anybody wants to accept this. How about a trade like this? Surely black is enticed. This does give me a pretty strong city on 853, especially because of the brick port. Here. Yeah, most likely solo blocks me. Wow, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so that solo was worth it, but um, I mean, I think black can accept this trade. A nine did roll, yeah, so exactly. Because a nine roll is offering a wood and a... Yeah, I don't think I'll be winning this game anytime soon and... Uh... I need to roll a seven here. I think that will be a pretty good uh, roll for me. Okay, that is perfect. I can target orange and take a sheep. Black surely doesn't have a sheep, right? Okay, black has a wood. I don't mind that. Here I'm just trying to buy a dev card if I get any trade or else I'll end my turn. There is no need for me to hold on to these cards. Wow, black and Red have been trading non-stop. If a five rolls here, I will build towards the wheat port. I think that is a pretty good spot. Place a knight should not be targeting me, especially if black thinks red and orange are in the lead. Okay, this is pretty good. Another eight or a five and I can get my second city. If a three rolls, I can actually just get a road settlement. Okay. This was also a possibility. I get a wheat, not the card that I was hoping to get.
you are I'll just end my turn I'm, I still think red has like three VPs so red could easily be on seven could build two roads to be on nine both the road builders have been played though so yeah black as expected does take the largest army and fours have been rolling quite a bit this game okay i get an ore which is exactly the resource that i wanted let's see if i get this trade I will be getting a city or else I can just buy a dev card. Quite a few knights have been played here. Actually, it's not way too much. But yeah, because of four rolled, I had to steal from black. Yeah, should be blocking either the six or or the nine word. Okay. Orange here gets a city. And orange will take the longest road as well. Quite easily actually. So here it does feel like I am falling behind uh, when it comes to the game, but um, yeah, not much that I can do. So I'll just end my turn. The problem is red bought a lot of dev cards and red got VPs there. Red should have focused on getting a city early on. And red is expecting to get this trade from black. Yeah, so black accepts it. Red might have a monopoly, but then playing a monopoly on brick doesn't make a lot of sense. Actually, he's just getting a road settlement. So red is on now on eight points. Yeah. Here black does need to build an extra road just so that red cannot secure the longest road and win the game. So good thing is red, sorry, good thing is black did take road on that turn. Here, I mean, the best I can do is buy a dev card. If I'm not going to get any trades, I think I just need to buy another dev card. And do I build a road? I don't think so. Let's see. Red might be able to build two roads here. Yeah, not sure. Let's take a look at what the win percentage is. Just 24. It's still better than me, at least in this season. Black does have a good win rate. We are surely not trading a game away to red. Let's see what is the red's win percentage. 
it's 25 so black does have the best win percentage and black is on nine points right okay so red isn't on eight but red can still take road okay red is just looking to get a city here at least that trade shows that red is getting a city but now red is on 8 here hopefully 9 doesn't roll because that gives black an option to get a settlement or win the game Wow. Yeah. I mean, black cannot win the game here. I will play a knight and uh, here I will steal from red actually, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I should let black connect. Okay, let's see. I will accept this. At least for now, maybe that is the only option I have. Here, do I block the six or do I block nine? I mean, they are both fighting for road, right? So six does seem to be a better block, but red can just try and get two cities or buy more dev cards. Okay, so here I can get four roads. Let's see if anyone accepts this trade. I mean, this gives me a road settlement, but because I am fighting for army. Okay, now I get a VP, surely not a card that helps me. And I'll build a road. I'm not building towards a 3 to 1 because I don't want to be plowed here. I needed to get a knight here. This is unfortunate. Yeah, surely don't think orange should be trading with either black or red. But black does have two wheats and two wood in hand, so can buy a dev card. Maybe I should have built a road. Black 
because I am fighting for road, right? I thought fighting for army would be easier for my setup, but I did not get the knight there. If I get a knight, I am in a very, very strong position. Let's see if I can get a one is to two here. I'm surely not accepting our one is to one here. Let's see. Buy is a dev card. Doesn't get a VP. So that is good. Okay. Yeah. This is unfortunate. Again, rolling a seven. And I get a brick. I would have preferred getting a sheep. Do I buy a dev card? I think I don't have much choice. Wow, I get another VP. Yeah, getting a knight is what I needed. Getting VPs do not help me at all. Maybe red has another monopoly now that I think about it. Or I'm not sure how, it, how does this work? Like I have two VPs. Red just needs to build two roads. Red can get a settlement here. Yeah, this might be game. So red has two VPs for sure. So red is now on nine, just needs to get a settlement. Yeah, should be targeting black, does that. Black might play a knight if they have one. Yeah, does play a knight. Might block the five wood, five brick here, not sure. Solo blocks. Okay. My, I should be buying a dev card. Maybe. I'm not sure if black can get a settlement, but should be buying a dev card. Also, I'm noticing that not even a single three has rolled this game. So can I get a road is what I'm thinking. And maybe I should have just focused on road a long time back.
I can get a settlement which will put me on eight points, but then I still don't have a win in hand. Yeah. I mean, at least at this point, I still need quite a bit to get the win, right? So it is better if I just buy a dev card, I get a year of plenty. So now there is a monopoly out there. I think if black has a monopoly or red has a monopoly, they win the game. But I'll just end my turn. I know it's a risk. Okay, the 10 block might come in handy here. So black has secured army. With my year of plenty, I can get a city. But then... Plays a knight, should be targeting black. So black surely doesn't have a VP. Black might have a monopoly. Because there is only one, there is only one monopoly that has been played. Okay, black still has a knight. So then does orange have a monopoly? And if orange has a monopoly, why didn't orange play it? Now maybe I can take road. Yeah, just hoping that black does not have a settlement in hand. Okay, does get the settlement to win the game here. I think I surely misplayed here. I bought a lot of dev cards. I needed to just focus on road. Yeah, but yeah, I converted a lot of brick into sheep and ore to buy a dev card. Whereas I could have easily have taken the longest road, like just build roads, maybe like try and get a city instead of buying all those dev cards. If I get a city on nine, five, 10, my wood production improves. Yeah. Anyway. Eights did roll quite a bit, which helped me quite, I mean, which helped me. Eights and nines were the best rolls. I did not want a lot of six and six did not roll. That was good. But the tens were, sorry, fours were also quite scary. In the end, yeah, I just misplayed with my win condition. It should have been, excuse me, it should have been road, but I focused on getting dev cards and buying knights, which did not help me. So anyway, uh, that's it for now and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.